I put my whole life in that cannery. You must be very proud. You'll forgive me, but I'm quite distracted by work at the moment. The townsfolk are agitated by the loss of power. They come to me seeking reassurance. Ms. McDevitt? Her people lack walls to hold against marauders. These people may prefer the safety of a dark town over an illuminated danger. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling? This season's tossball predictions? The quickest way out of town? They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No? How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. Selling? No. It is free for all who seek it. I'm sorry you don't find these tried and true words of wisdom to your liking. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. That's not how it works. The Grand Architect has no concern for us beyond setting the plan in motion. Obviously. Look, if we can figure out how to read the grand plan, we can more perfectly align ourselves to it, bringing everyone peace. The Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as scientism to the layperson. Mock me all you want. I know my beliefs to be true. What would you like to discuss? Just a moment. If you're going to be walking around outside, make sure you're well prepared. Unless you don't care for your life. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. On the contrary, my position means that I am one of the few legally allowed to possess such items. But do not worry. You'll be safe since you are acting on my behalf. Glad we see eye to eye. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here.
What are we supposed to do now? Any progress on that matter we discussed? Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. There is little more important than such a precious, rare text. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. Yes, you're right. Such are the workings of the equation. And I've only my own hubris to blame. I certainly never planned for this contingency. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Fantastic. I promise you won't regret this. It is my esteemed pleasure to serve as your crew vicar, Captain. By verity, by strength. What are we contemplating today?
clean fight. Our skills are unrivaled. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. What can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to install a power regulator? Step 1. Pick up your power regulator. Step 2. Approach the terminal located in our engine room. Step 3. Insert power regulator. Step 4. Celebrate. Our engine room is located behind you across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Will do, Captain. I'll keep an eye on her. In the meantime, take care of yourself out here. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low-altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. <laughs> <laughs> 